Hi everyone, I am Asudosh and in this video we are going to talk about user defined functions in Python. So you must have uh, read about or you must have used a lot of functions in Python. Just to name a few, it may be the uh, function to find the average number like mean, it may be something like sum, right? It may be something like count and there can be a number of uh, Python functions that you may have used. What are these? These are the globally created functions. Those are directly available in Python or any programming language. Means what? These are the functions which you can directly use, right? So what are these? So let's say you got a data point. Let's say you got some data point. Let's say uh, there is a list with the name A and its value is one, two, three, and four, right? So now if you want to find the mean of A, let's say the name is A underscore mean, it will be what? It will be simply like one plus two plus three plus four, which is like 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9 plus 1, 10, 10 divided by total number of items, which is 4, right? And it will be 2.5. That's what, right? It will be 2.5. That's what your mean of the item will be. What we have done? We have simply calculated the sum of all the numbers we had in this list divided by the total count, right? So somebody must have written this and then they have created this globally and now we are using that using a function called as mean. But what if we don't have a functions already created? For example, let's say you have two number A and B. You have two number A and B, and you want to you want to find the sum of it. Simple thing, right? Sum of it. Now just assume that you don't have a function created for this. So you need to write your own function. Why we write the function? Just to make the thing simpler, just to save our time. We write the functions for those statements, those, those methods, which we want to use repeatedly. For example, just for uh, you know adding the two number A and B. If you want to add the numbers very frequently, instead of writing the whole code again and again, what you can do, you can simply create a user defined function for you and use that function wherever you need. Now let's understand how to create it. So we are going to create the user defined function, which will find the sum of two number A and B. So to create a function, we start with a keyword called as def, def. This is for the definition. Then it comes the function name. Let's uh, name the function as sum, sum of two. So sum two number. So this is my function name. Then we will be having a parenthesis. Inside this parenthesis, you will be providing the name of the argument you want to provide. So these arguments will be nothing but the variables. So for example, in this case, we are looking to add two numbers, means there will be two variables, A and B. So simply define the value A comma B, right? Now, it should start with a column, simply click enter, make sure the other statement that you are writing should be inside the loop, and so it should start from here and not at the beginning. Now, now you need to write the statement, the function that you want to do. So we are looking to find the sum so just make it sum is equal to what i want a plus b so a plus b now it should end with return a statement so again return is the keyword return what return we are returning the sum here so return sum done this is the function created your function has been created with the name sum underscore two underscore n o having two argument a and b so you just provide the value of a and b and the uh, function that you will create will return you the sum of those numbers. Now simply execute it and now our function is created. Now all you have to do is just call this function. So to call a function, we use the function name which is sum underscore two underscore no in our case and it should have the required argument. In our case, we have used two arguments called as a and b. So you need to provide the value of a and b. So let's provide one comma two. So it should provide three. And yeah, it has provided three, right? So what it has done, it has called this function that we have created and uh, provided the argument as a is equal to one and b is equal to two. By default, system takes the value in the order you have defined the argument and that's why it has taken the value of a as one and b as two. You can also provide, you can also provide named argument. For example, you can write a is equal to two and b is equal to three. You can do that, right? And it's provided you five. You can also do alternatively, like you can change the position. You can provide a equal to two comma, uh, sorry, b equal to two comma, a equal to two, right? It should provide you four. So whenever you are providing the named argument, the position doesn't matter. It can be at any position, 
right? Okay. Now, if you won't provide, if let's say here we are calling the null, uh, you know, argument, so it will give you the error. It's asking you that this function that we are calling missing two required positional arguments a and b. So you need to provide. Even if you will provide just one argument, it will give you the error because the system was expecting two arguments from you. So you need to provide the two argument in this case. Now to avoid these conditions, or let's say you created a function which requires two argument, but sometimes uh, I mean, and again you have used this function in some particular code, and the code is deployed in the production, and sometimes there are chances that. Uh, some automation part is not giving you two arguments, it's just giving you one argument. So in this case, what you will do? So for such purposes, we provide something called as default argument. So let's see how to provide default argument. Let's create another function, def definition, the function name is f1. And here we are looking to find the square of uh, the sum of the number. So let's again define a comma b, right? And what we are looking to do is, first we are looking to find the sum and then it's a square. So sum is equal to, we are looking to do a plus b and then again sum one is equal to we are looking for sum squared right i hope these things are pretty clear to everyone like for a square we are using double star and then return what you will return we will return sum one because we are ultimately looking for sum one right now if you will call f1 with one comma two it will give you one plus two three three a squared nine right now if you want to define the default argument you need to do it here. So we are defining a is equal to one and b is equal to one. This means even if you won't provide any value while calling the function, system will by default take the value of a and b as one and it will calculate it. Let's execute and understand. Yeah, now uh, just call the uh, blank, uh, you know, argument for function f1. This time it has not given you error. Remember earlier it was giving us the error, this one, right? But this time it's not giving error. Why? Because we already have the default argument for a and b and so it has used one plus one two two square four and it has given you four but if you will provide the value of the argument it will rewrite it for example i'm providing two comma two so what it will do it will assign the value of a as one and b as one so what it has done it has basically rewrite uh, um, uh, the existing default values and now if you like execute it it will be 16 two plus two four four square 16. so this way you can do you can provide the default argument for all the default value for all the arguments or few arguments. For example, I'm just rewriting this function again and I'm naming it F2. Now, just think of, we want to provide the default argument for first and not for second, right? So see what will happen. Can you see this error, right? It says that if, if you are not defining the default value for all the argument, then the argument for which you have not defined the default value should come at first. So ideally you should write B first and then the default argument will come. Now it will work for you. Yeah. So now if you will provide the F2, then it will consider the two of those arguments which has not been default. So it will be for B. And now it will give you 2 plus 1, 3, 3 square, 9. So this way we work with the functions. This way you can create your function, you can define it and you can call it anytime as you require. So that's for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Please like this video and keep watching. We'll be sharing next video very soon. Thank you.